Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of the new King Kong 110 GT. Now, the 110 GT is not 110 in diameter. Its base is actually 117, but they're calling it 110. Uh, but this is a neat little flyer. This, this one here is a micro FPV flyer, as you can guess. It has a 16 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt, 800 TVL camera FPV system. I am pointing out the back there. In addition, it has 8500 kV motors which are pretty high speed, along with 10 amp ESCs. Uh, with a 4 and one ESC, they're built in uh, into the power distribution. Um, 4 and one ESCs, <laughs> it means that all the ESCs are on one chip in the center of the quadcopter. Um, they are BL Heli, so they are D-Shot capable ESCs. In addition to that, we have a 7.4 volt, uh, 35 milliamp, or, or 7.4 volt, 350 milliamp per hour, but rated at 35C, so it will give, you know, it hopefully it won't provide be have any uh, battery sag uh, if there's a lot of power draw. We should be able to give us a lot of them. Those whistles you hear in the background, uh, those are the kids, local kids uh, practicing for soccer, I believe. This year's soccer team, so we're going to have to share the field here with them, so don't worry about that. Uh, whatever I missed, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, seriously, pro F3 racing board loaded up with uh, Beta Flight 3.0.1. So, all in all, should be a nice little flyer. Let's take it up and see how it spins. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, first, we are going to start off with uh, line of sight flight just to show it's punching that and show it up flying up close. Oh, this is feels like a punchy little thing, but this is it. Let's try a punch. Ready, set. Wow. <laughs> Super punch. Bring that back in. Bring that bad boy back in. One more like that. Let's try that again. <laughs> Very punchy. Okay, let's go right into acro flying. That's what this is supposed to be doing. So I'm going to put this back on the pad if I can. <laughs> there we go on the pad let's go right into an acro flight hope you enjoy the rest of this flight okay uh here we go getting on my goggles and switching to acro acro is selected we are armed and away we go wow this thing just goes right into the air wow very 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 zippy Go away from the sun and try, try this. <laughs> that worked well. Let's go and try this. That worked okay. But what I really want to know is how does this thing do going through the trees? Let's try some slaloming. Let's go around the trees. We'll start off slow and pick it up as I get the feel of this thing. Boom! <laughs> zippy, zippy little thing, huh? I got spectators today. But let's go through here. Oh, this is a nice quad, folks. This one is all, this has been set up already. This has been flown before. Whoop, 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 whoops. Let me disarm. Let me go get it. I don't know what happened there. My battery came loose there. Sorry about that. I guess I didn't have it in there uh, tight enough for all those loops and rolls I was doing. But let's go back into the air. Arming again. Set. Let's go back to acro. Going back to the air. It took the spill rather well. <laughs> but, wow. What's that showing up in the nose there? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'll have to check it out after the flight. I, I don't know if that's the battery or what. But we'll, we'll check it out after the flight, because it's flying. So let's go around the trees, like I said. And get it down a little, a little bit lower. We're also going to stay down low and fast, because this thing can't fly low and fast. So much punch on this thing. Got a lot of punch. Let's go over the trees. Let's go around the pole. A lot of range on it. It's got a very good FPV transmitter on this thing. Wonderful quadcopter. 
I like it. I like it. The King Kong, folks. 110 GT. King Kong always comes out with good stuff. Always comes out with good stuff. Wonderful quadcopter. Wonderful flyer. I wonder what the flight time on this thing is. I wonder if it's got a beeper. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot since I did the intro. Let's go above these trees because... There's the the pole. <laughs> Look at the range I got on this thing. Above. Yeah, I know. It's I'm way up there above the pole. <laughs> Wonderful flyer. I like this one. This is a keeper, folks. This is one, this one's going into my stable of uh, micro FPV flyers because it's smooth and aggressive at the same time. Smooth and aggressive. Let's go over by the pole again. I like that. I like the range on the FPV. It's nice and crisp and clear and wonderful. <laughs> this is just a great quadcopter. This is a great micro FPV racer. Let's get some flybys of us up close. Do it again, come around the other way. Go around again. Still no beeper. Heck of a lot of punch on this thing. Uh oh. There, <laughs> I lost signal, folks. I went blind there. So I'm assuming that's the edge of the end of the flight time on that. <laughs> no warning? No, I didn't get a beeper on that. That's. I guess that's what one thing it needs. Where'd it go, my love? Yeah, go straight. One thing it probably needs is a beeper. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I'll check that battery. I think I got my battery tester. Let's find out how much residual voltage is left of this thing. And then right now, hold on, folks. Okay, I got my voltage tester here. Let's see what residual voltage is left in that battery. Two cells, all 6.42. Battery number one, 3.36, 6 6.42, 3.0, is that 3.06? 6.42, 6 <laughs> 3.06, folks. So, um, yeah, the one thing that this needs, okay, that almost went below three volts. So I hope I didn't hurt that battery. The one thing that this definitely needs is a um, beeper on it otherwise this would be perfect uh, you are going to have to time your flights there obviously or else you will risk damaging the battery but other than that this thing's an amazing flyer oh i enjoyed flying this the heck out of this thing so hope you enjoyed this flight because i sure did it's quadcopter 101 signing out <laughs>